Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, good night, depending on where you are. This wind store we are at it again. There are so many questions regarding how to change your business name. I found out that so many people have been making the mistake, maybe during the process of registration, they found out that the name they have put is wrong. If you find out that the name is wrong, it is not a big deal. You can actually apply for a change of name on your CAC portal. But the first one I am trying to show us now is if you are an individual. I mean you are not an agent, you run your registration by yourself, or someone else did it but is an individual account. Follow me so that you learn how you are going to apply for a change of name. Follow me and see how it is done. So I am going to input my username and my password. So once I put it to take me to my dashboard, follow me. Let's get it done. Yes, this is my own dashboard now you can see it submitted not submitted pending so this first one now is the reservation you can see reserved so but this one now is registered this is registered you can see it this is registered so one thing you should know is that once there is an error in your name and you want to apply for a change of name, what you have to you have to do a name reservation again. This time around, you are going to use that name, that proposed name that you are changing your already registered name to. You are going to use it. So you go to new name reservation. You are going to apply for a new name reservation. So let's go. So once you go there, you can see it, name and type, your classification. So because it's just a business name change, so I go to business. But if it's a company, you go to company. company. If it's an incorporated trustee, you go there. If it's a limited partnership, you go there. If it's a limited liability partnership, you go there. But now it is a business name. So I go to business name, select, is it a sole proprietorship or is your business a partnership in partnership with someone else? So mine is a sole proprietor. So I go ahead. So then you choose name. Please note, the name you are going to choose as a proposed name is the new name that you want to answer. So, but I'm using this training, uh, showing you this. I'm not trying to change my name, but I will, I'm using my account to show you how you should do it on your own. So, I already have my name registered as Winstores Enterprise. So, I can just decide to write Winstore. Wins, Winstore. digital i'm not changing my name but i'm just showing an instance so optional i don't have any optional name so i just go ahead and click to next save and continue so just go ahead you can see the objective this is the main reason reason for availability this is where you are going to select whether it's a name change or a name substitute or whatsoever. So I am going to, you can see it. What is your reason? Is it a new registration? No, I've already done the new registration, but this is a name change because there was error in my name or I have decided to change my business name to another name. So I just go to name change. Wow. So because you have put a name change, they are going to ask you, to provide that one you register, that your company name or the availability code. You put the availability code if the name has not already been registered. 
Or if it has been registered, you put your company name. You get it? You put your company name. So let me just put my company name, the registered one. Wins. So they have already brought it out for me. You can see it's Winstar Enterprises. So I click there. Wow. Even my uh, uh, housing number is there. Everything is there. I am changing this particular name. You understand it? I am changing it. So you now go to your business category again. I go to your business category again and fill it. So you select your business category. So I don't know what your business is, but you can just scroll down and make sure you get the right category for your business. Just make sure you get the right category. There are so many things here. Just select anyone. So remember, you are not changing your business uh, nature. You are just changing them. So make sure whatever you are selecting is the same thing with what you registered with understand so if there is any other additional remark network is a bit challenging So, so this this thing that is happening is as a result of error. It's as a result of error, network error. So, refuse to change. Yeah. So, refuse to change. So you can just I'm just putting anything so you just go ahead I just put power let me just continue that is because I'm not changing it so but if you are changing it that is the thing you should do so you can see it then they have showed you everything they have showed you everything you can see it see my address see everything see the reason for change I am applying for change of name change of name this is the business i'm changing the name so i go ahead and save and continue so this now is taking me to where to make payment you can see it you pay to remitter the reservation name reservation of a name is 500 naira so it's taking me to remitter i go to remitter so you are going to see how payment is done on remitter this is how your payment is done on Remita. So once this thing displays, once it displays like this, don't buy this. Once it displays like this, you click on submit. Go to submit. Your information is there already, so you just go to submit. So when it reach here. I've already set my own in card, but if you don't have card, if you don't have card, if you don't have card, what you should do is to click on this place, zero card, bank account. If you want to go use your bank account to send it, if you want to bank transfer, you want to go to branch, if you want to use your USSD, you click here, they will send you code. You type that code on your phone. You don't want to use USS, you use internet banking. Then, if you don't want to use your remitter, for those that have remitter wallets, for those that have wallets on remitter, use it. If you have e naira or phone number, bank transfer. So, whatever means you will use is, is listed here, whatever option that you need. But well, I usually prefer card because it's automatic. So, once I put in my card number, I am not continuing because. I am not changing my business name. So you just put your card number. When you put your card number, you put the expiring date, put the CVV, then you go to pay. Once you pay, it will automatically take you back to your dashboard where you are going to see that your application has been submitted. So when the name availability is granted, 
you will now continue the registration thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe on our youtube channel for subsequent posting on processes of registration on cac portal and so many things if you need questions as well you can always chat us up or contact us on our facebook or on our phone number on our whatsapp on our instagram or any other place you see desire thank you so much i still remain your humble queen stores enterprise thank you